Hi again, uh, today I'll show you the uh, oscilloscope uh, traces for the three capacitors that I talked about in the previous video. I haven't set out to restore this radio particularly, but uh, remember I said it's got a two core lead on it, where it's, uh, it's got its own isolation transformer built into it, but it's designed to have uh, an earth chassis and somebody's taken that earth off. So I'm going to uh, replace the lead. Uh, the lead I'm putting on is a, a white uh, three core flex and uh, that's just because that's what I happen to have. Originally the radio would have had a brown uh, flex on it. When I was uh, about 10 or 12 um, I thought I'd be helpful to my aunt who lived next door. Um, she had a little radio um, the mains lead was getting hot and I thought it would be a good idea to replace it so uh, I got some flex from somewhere and um, set about replacing the, the lead. That was a two core uh, flex and um, when I replaced it and plugged it in uh, all of the valves lit up and I think some of them broke and uh, that's when I uh, found out that uh, it was an American radio designed to work at a 110 volts whereas uh, in the UK at that time uh, everything was 250 volts AC and the mains lead that had been fitted uh, to the radio uh, in actual fact served as a mains dropper so it lost 100 and odd volts uh, across uh, the resistance of the lead um, so that was uh, a, <laughs> a very ex early example of uh, realising how little I knew about radio. So uh, as I say I'll just change uh, this lead. And I'll give you a close up of this because not everybody will have seen a, uh, a British 13 amp plug. This is a uh, British 13 amp uh, plug and it's the uh, standard plug in the UK and uh, it has a replaceable fuse. Uh, this one that's in is a 5 amp fuse and what I ought to do is go and find a 3 amp fuse but then I don't always do what I sh should do. The live wire here is always on the right. There are very strict regulations uh, in the UK and uh, the live is going to be on the right and the neutral on the left and the earth is this uh, bigger pin uh, at the top and uh, this, this plug will uh, carry 13 amps so you can get different fuses 2 amp, 3 amp, 5 etc uh, up to 13 amps and the idea of the fuse is it protects the lead um, the, the radio has to take care of itself if that blows up inside so be it uh, but the fuse is actually protecting the lead that's its function um, what I always do is I cut the brown wire, the live wire, shorter than the earth and the neutral. And the reason for that is if the um, wire gets pulled out of the plug, the first wire that's going to get pulled out and disconnected is the live wire. And uh, it leaves a, a bit of slack for the earth wire and the neutral to be pulled out last. Um, and uh, I may be the fool that's pulling the, the wire out so it, it's just good practice nobody tells you to do it but uh, it makes sense I've got the radio set on uh, a VHF uh, wave band I just turn that off now and I've set it to VHF because the first two valves in the VHF section get disconnected when you set, select the uh, long and medium wave uh, channels. So, uh, looking at uh, this capacitor that I've been showing you in the earlier videos, this is the first connection that comes fr directly from the rectifier. I've got the meter on there set on to uh, DC and you see we've got 284 volts DC and I'm, I'll just disconnect the uh, probe switch to AC and now I'm back on that uh, same pin again and uh, so I'm, I'm back on the same connection and uh, I'm now looking um, with the uh, meter on uh, AC and you'll see we've got 5.3 
volts of AC ripple imposed upon the, uh, uh, the, the DC level. You remember that the supply comes from this pin up to the uh, choke that's associated with the output transformer through the 1K resistor and it comes back onto uh, this lower pin down here. So uh, again I've got the meter on DC and we're looking at 249 volts of DC. Again I'll switch over to AC and there we've got 0.4 volts uh, AC ripple imposed on the DC there and from th uh, that capacitor uh, point it goes through this 1k resistor up onto the top pin of the capacitor there and again I'll set the meter to DC and that's the DC voltage 228 volts again I'll switch the meter to AC and there we've got 0.13 uh, volts ripple uh, so not very much ripple on there at all and you'll remember that the first connection went out to the uh, anode of the output valve, uh, the audio output valve the next level uh, went out to the IF stage and this final uh, capacitor output goes to the VHF section if anyone thinks making a little video like this is a piece of cake then uh, all I can say is try it. You wouldn't believe the number of times I've had to stop and restart and uh, how I can suddenly start talking gibberish. I was going to video the oscilloscope but I had a problem of aliasing between the trigger rate of the oscilloscope and the frame rate of the camera and uh, I couldn't get a decent image at all so in the end I've wound up by photographing it. You'll see on this first image on the th uh, third centimetre in there's a double trace that's because I photographed the screen at one fifth of a second and it's, uh, it's starting a second uh, run. The oscilloscope is set for 10 volts per division deflection and remember uh, what you're looking at here is peak to peak and the digital voltmeter will have been trying to read RMS values. Look at the last two peaks and you'll see they're at different heights and what that's telling you is uh, one side of the rectifier valve is working a little bit harder than the other so uh, one, one uh, side of the valve is uh, a little bit soft so low emission either that or one side of the output transformer is uh, producing lower volts reference to the center tap but in any event it's not very significant so that's the trace that is associated with the supply to the audio output that's shown on that little white box uh, up to the left. This next image shows the ripple after the choke in the 1K resistor and this is the feed to the IF amp and again the deflection is set at uh, 10 volts per centimetre and this final image shows the ripple that uh, is on the voltage supply to the VHF section so very little ripple on there so hopefully that uh, shows clearly that there are the three distinct levels of uh, filtering or smoothing okay that concludes this uh, video I hope you find it interesting and maybe educational um, let me have your feedback please I'm always interested thanks for watching bye bye